Hey, this is Rocky Rolls coming at you in the good old Bowie, Maryland. Taking a nice little back road ride. And, oh, speed camera coming up. Okay. Well, I hope you check out my video, Can You Have Too Much Electronics? Because had I not had too much electronics, I definitely would not have realized that the speed camera was coming up. Um, I'm going to talk about riding modes real quick. We got four riding modes pre-configured and two that you can configure on your own. And the first riding mode is the touring mode. The touring mode comes at you with, um, oh, I don't know which lane I'm supposed to be in. Oh, I think, uh, can I do this? I don't know. Oh, 50 West. Do I want to take 50? No, I'm going to go the back way. Yeah, so the tour mode is for the highway. So like when I'm down there on US 50, definitely want to be in tour mode. Them folks are flying. Traffic is averaging about 80, 85 miles per hour down there. Um, up here on, what am I on, US? I think this is 197, about to merge with 301 somewhere. And urban mode would go really well here. But um, uh, I think I'm still in my user mode one. And I kind of feel like part of the reason why they don't build this unicorn bike is because they know you can take this bike and modulate the power and water it down a bit. Now I know I get it. You unicorn desiring people really want lower weight. But I honestly don't think, you know, with the CB500X coming in at 430, you really need a bike that weighs 450 or 470. I just don't get it. I mean, the biggest challenge with riding the CB500X is that it only weighs 430 on the highway and on the, you know, on the highway, especially, you know, you traveling long distance. You really want a little bit more weight to your bike to give you, you know, uh, a more, what's the word, comfortable ride. You you want the bike to have a little more stability that comes along with the additional weight. So I don't know if I really, you know, so I do a lot of highway riding myself, not long distance highway yet. But, you know, I jump on the highway off and on, as you know, definitely ride on the freeway. And I don't know if I want a bike that weighs less than 500 pounds. I think I like having the bike that weighs 500 pounds for those circumstances. So, yeah, I, I mean, I'm starting to get it. I, mean, I still think this bike is a little top heavy. But I'll say this. A lot of the people who I saw complaining about the bike being heavy or top heavy or whatever, they were tested it. And a lot of test riders, they're only putting in, you know, they're not putting 400, 500 miles on the bike unless they got a... Um, a long-term review and the long-term reviewers tend not to complain about it so I think if you're jumping on and off bikes especially if you're riding sport bikes or you know speed triples and stuff and you're rolling around on a 400 420 pound bike most days of the week and you try to jump from there onto a full-size adventure bike which is not only about the weight, but it's also going to be tall. You got the combination of the weight and the height. Um, you're probably not going to feel comfortable on the bike. So I kind of get that too. <laughs> 